Factoring trinomials. So there's some things that we know how to factor right away, okay, just by time and experience and just dealing with them a lot. Behind me I have two examples, x squared plus xy plus y squared. Hopefully you look at that and you recognize, oh, that's just going to be x plus y squared. Likewise, x squared minus y squared, hopefully you recognize that to be x plus y times x minus y. Okay. Those are two that we know. We can also deal with the, what's called the difference or the sum of cubes. And what I mean by that is if we are looking at a cubed plus b cubed. We can factor this as well. And how we do that is a formula similar, similar to these, okay? Just in terms of having to memorize a new formula. And how this works is we have a binomial, a plus b. And then we also have a trinomial, which is going to be a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay? So just like these are formulas, this is a new formula as well. Okay? This will also work for the, so I will call this the sum of cubes because we're adding two cubes together. This will also work for the difference of cubes, a cubed minus b cubed. And how this works is almost identical formula, except instead of dealing with a plus b, we now deal with a minus. And then it's a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, it can be fairly, these, similar, these formulas do look quite similar, so it can be kind of hard to distinguish them. The way I remember, and if you have another way, that's fine as well, is the sign of these first two binomials, the two terms one, is going to be the same as the original sign. So here we're dealing with addition, here we're dealing with addition, subtraction, subtraction. Oops, I sort of erased my parenthesis. Okay. We then have the a squared. All the values are the same. Okay, but then the second sign is going to be the opposite. So here we started with plus, this goes to minus. Here we started with to minus, this goes to plus. Okay, so it's the second sign is opposite. And the third is always going to be positive. So as long as you can remember the a, b, a squared, a, b, and b squared, just remember that your signs are the same as you started, opposite, and then always positive. But just two more formulas we need to add to our repertoire and for factoring.